Hey guys, Pickle Dragon here. I wanted to share this with you. Um, I pulled this out. The Time of the Dragon. It's a Dragonlance supplement, but it's for... It's not for Ancelon. So, like, all of the... All of the War of the Lance stuff that people are so familiar with, this, these lands we were separate from. So they don't necessarily have the same influences that people traditionally associate with Dragonlance. So if you want to play a Dragonlance game, but you don't want to stick with or have to have the the influence of the of the whole War of the Lance and Tekesis and all that, um, this is a great supplement for you to, to build kind of a unique Dragonlance world. It still has all of your your races, the Minotaurs and the the Kender, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, <clears throat> they're all a little bit different in culture. So it really gives you a chance to to build a Dragonlance world without the Dragonlance influences. So you still have all the dragons and so forth. The dragons in these lands, though, they're more neutral than they are um, good or evil. Uh, again, they don't have the influence of the War of the Lance, so it's a little different. But uh, it did get hit um, by the uh, Taladas. What did get hit by the the Cataclysm, which made an influence on there you go the the burning lava sea, the Great Lava Sea. It did get hit by the the uh, the Cataclysm, so it does have those influences. Um, but in general, it's just like a different, different culture. You, but you still have your minotaurs and um, all the different ra races. This this box set has so much packed into it. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. And the great thing is, is uh, it also has um, some urban settings built into it of these great capital cities and so forth. So, and uh, you know, I think I've mention how much I love how much I love uh, urban settings and of course here's a map of the sewers of uh, Christophan big giant city here um, and of course sewers are just basically dungeon crawls for urban settings you know you can do so much with them it's awesome um, but tons of maps in here the gnome spires there's like a typical gnome spire for you um, it's just so much packed into this. Oh, there was uh, this great... Let me see if I can reach it. Oh, there we go. All right. This great tomb of the great king. It's pretty awesome. But these cards uh, are all inserts in this box set. It's just amazing. Tons of maps, of course. You're going to have a map of the, the capital city. Oops, I dropped stuff. Um, giant fold-out map. Christophan. Um, and more world maps. That's the one thing that uh, Dragonlance has no shortage of is, is uh, world maps. Uh, it's pretty it's uh, pretty detailed and has multiple continents. It really feels like an entire world. So Taladas is a separate continent than, than Ancelon and so on and so forth. And they have all their own histories and so forth. So, but, uh, yeah. The uh, Time of Dragons. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely. Especially if you're a big fan of Minotaurs. These guys take play a big role in this in these lands so all right well that's all i got for you in the meantime uh happy gaming and as always be heroic we need heroes to fight things like this stuff right here it's a pretty awesome illustration all right thank you guys